Hi, um, this is uh, going to be a little brief review on basically uh, part aspect of um, autom autonomic pharmacology. And the one I'm going to try to focus a lot here is autonomic drugs for the eye and the cardiovascular system. Okay, so one particular <clears throat> condition that uh, affects the eye is glaucoma. And there's two types of gl glaucoma. There's open angle glaucoma and angle closure glaucoma. Okay, so the things that we have to remember for um, angle closure glaucoma, it's basically an acute, a painful, um, or chronic condition with uh, a raised uh, <clears throat> IOP, which is basically intraocular pressure due to the blockade of the canal of Schlem. And um, the second type is opal, open angle glaucoma. And open angle glaucoma is when we have chronic condition, which uh, with uh, we observe increased intraocular pressure because of uh, a decreased reabsorption of the aqueous humor, okay? And when we have a decreased uh, reabsorption of the aqueous humor, this leads to progressive visual loss. It can be also painless, and if left untreated, it will eventually cause blindness. But because of the advances of medicine, we do have drugs to um, treat glaucoma. So I provided you guys a graph, as you see here. Um, in your left-hand side, it's the name of the drugs, uh, is their subtypes, uh, the drug class right next to it, to the right, and the mechanisms of action. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you the honor of um, reading that for yourself, but I'll also provide like a, basically a synopsis of what, what occurs. So for carbacol, pilocarpine, and um, ecothiophate, this is basically uh, a cholinomimetic drug class, basically it mimics cholinergic action. And the, what, what it does, the mechanism of action, is that it activates the M receptors, when you activate the M receptors, what you do is you allow the, the, contraction of, the contraction of the ciliary muscle. And when you contract the ciliary muscle, you can open the canal of Sklem. Um, and the, for ecothiophate, this is uh, an organophosphate um, uh, ACE inhibitor, which basically uh, increases the outflow. Okay, So basically, it prevents it from blockading and from accumulating in that region. Um, for the second, another group of drugs is apraclonidine and epinephrine. And these two dog drugs are uh, sympathomimetic. Basically, it mimics the sympathetic nervous response. And uh, the mechanisms of action in this one is we have an alpha agonist effect. Basically, what, ha what you have an alpha agonist effect, it uh, decreases your uh, norepinephrine release. When you decrease norepinephrine release, you decrease aqueous humor formation. When you decrease aqueous humor formation, it causes uh, an outflow, right? It causes uh, and then epinephrine, of course, will cause the uh, outflow. So basically, you prevent it from uh, from uh, blockading in that region. For another group of drugs is uh, betaxalol and timolol. These are beta blockers. Basically, they uh, they block the receptor sites for the beta for the beta, uh, the, re the receptor sites for the beta receptors. Uh, prevents it from it prevents the um, stimulation of the beta receptors. And we observe that there are just to remind you guys, beta receptors. We have beta one and beta two. Um, the effects of beta-1 is basically on the SA node, the AV node, and the atrial ventricular muscle, and the, uh, the his, the his region. And um, basically the response, it uh, just increases heart rate, increases conduction velocity, increases force of contraction, increases conductive velocity, uh, carbon uh, cardiac output, uh, carbon, I mean the carbon monoxide and oxygen consumption, and, and then for the Prakanji uh, his, it increases automaticity and conduction of velocity. For the beta-2 receptors, this is just part of another subtype of the beta receptors, for the blood vessels and uh, for those regions, it, uh, it causes vasodilation, right? When you do have vasodilation, you, you decrease peripheral, vers perif um, peripheral um, PVR, uh, you decrease uh, uh, diastolic pressure, diastolic pressure, and uh, decrease the afterload. So these are the effects of uh, the beta blockers. Okay, so basically the mechanism of action of the bedexalol and the timolol is... Um, uh, it blocks the actions of the norepinephrine at the ciliary epithel epithelium. And when you block these, uh, the norepinephrine sites, the aqueous, uh, you, you observe decrease in aqueous humor formation. So for another drug type is acetazolamide and dorsolamide. Um, these drugs are carbonic and hydrase inhibitor. What this does is it causes um, bicarbon uh, decrease uh, in availability. When you decrease the bicarbonate, uh, it decreases aqueous humor formation. So again, again, it relieves glaucoma and the blockade of the um, uh, aqueous humor. So another drug type is latanoprost. 
platinoprost is classified as a PGF2 alpha analog. And when you have, um, when you give latanoprost to a patient with glaucoma, it basically increases the outflow of the canal of phlegm. So basically causes like a, some kind of vasodilation, so allows it to flow faster, so it doesn't blockade. And uh, yeah, these are the mechanisms of actions of the drugs to treat glaucoma. Remember, there's two types of glaucoma. Just say quickly, it's open angle glaucoma and angle closure glaucoma. Okay? All right. Well, if you have any questions, feel free to post a question or anything. Whatever. Have a nice day. Bye.